we're here with that overall winner we expected all along, but he proved the merit here, passing the legacy along, Hunter Labrada. Congratulations. Thank you, Kit. You know, I, everybody said, you know, a thousand times at least, you know, passing it along, passing it along. What's it mean to you? I know they have asked that question so many times, but seriously, it's a big, big legacy. Yeah, no, um, it's definitely a uh, legacy. And uh, the way I look at it, honestly, I just punched my ticket to be able to start creating my own tonight. You know, um, just uh, if I, if I, I, I made it where I wanted to go. I made it to the point where I can start uh, kind of blazing my own path and doing my own thing. Not that, you know, I feel like I'm in the shadow at all uh, of Lee. I've always felt like, you know, I've always done my own thing. And yeah, your own. He's always had his thing. And, you know, it's just it's beyond a blessing to be able to have you know, come to this show and done the same show and uh, and come away with the overall win and, you know, be the uh, second generation pro that I am now. It's, it feels weird saying that, man. But, uh, yeah, no, it, it, it's it's incredible. It's, uh, like I've said, it's a, uh, it's a life's macro goal accomplished. I'm still kind of <laughs> through a goal, yeah. Right Making your own footsteps, but following your father's a little bit, yeah. doing your own thing. I cover a lot of international shows. I see a lot of international physiques. You have a very good physique. You said you've been 5-0 and oh in the amateurs now. You just proved it that, that holding on and waiting it out, like we had talked about in the weigh-ins, kind of playing the long-term goal plan is working. Yeah, like I said, um... You know, I don't really feel like there's a point to be in a rush. Um, you know, having a piece of paper that says IFBB Pro on it doesn't make you a pro in my eyes. Um, being a pro in my eyes is having a pro-level physique. So, well, Speaking of physiques, I, I saw a little bit of resemblance of uh, Flix, Flix Lewis there. <laughs> um, yeah, that's something that I, uh, I'm starting to get more and more and something that I take, obviously, as a massive compliment. Um, you know, I'd like to think it's about more than just the physique because Flex is an awesome guy and an awesome ambassador for the sport and just an all-around genuinely good human being, which at the end of the day is what I'd rather have people say about me than he's a good bodybuilder. So um, I know why people say it, but that's, that's, that's how I take it. It's a good comment. J.M. Mannion on another interview previously said that alive, that it isn't just what you do on the stage, but the best Olympians he chose are just the people that what they're doing off the stage for the sport of bodybuilding as well. Definitely, man. What we do is such a niche sport. It's so, you know, just out there and on its own. And, uh, you know, it's one of those things like we're all in this together. There needs to be more camaraderie, not less. Um, I've been pretty fortunate in my amateur career to never really have come across anyone that was just a total jackass. Um, it's been quite the opposite, honestly, you know, like especially today, like the group of supers that I was able to get up there with. Yeah, and that was quite a lineup. We haven't seen that lineup at Nationals in a couple years now. The guys that I was able to, uh, you know, hit the overall with, you know, everyone was, you know, really cool and genuine, and that's what the sport in general needs but especially you know like men's bodybuilding men's bodybuilding and i'm not going to say dying i feel like it's just strong as ever but it's a very small core of us and uh we need to be building each other up not tearing each other down and that's, that's, that's a big big thing for me absolutely well you're building up the sport of bodybuilding right now uh, internationally we give this out to the overall it means a lot to a lot of people so md latino muscular development magazine we give that out to the crown, the overall, this is what you get, and this is what this guy earned tonight. Uh, your, your dad, obviously, Lee LeBron, a little bit Cuban background, correct? Uh, yeah, my dad's 100% Cuban. He was born in Havana, so I know I don't look it, but I'm 50%. Listen, you're a 305. <laughs> There's mom, a lot of Cubans yeah, know, here, man. My mom's from Ohio, though, so we kind of we kind of skewed it a little bit. All right, man. <laughs> Last shout-out for all your people out there. Hey, man, um, just to everyone out there deep down from the bottom of my heart, um, I really do appreciate all of the support. I really do appreciate, you know, like all of the, the Instagram comments, the Facebook things, you know, like just just walking up to me and giving me props. You all, you all motivate the hell out of me, um, and I, I truly am beyond blessed to like. It sounds so cheesy, but I'm I'm living I'm living my dream because of the support that I receive, and I feel very blessed to be able to do what I do at the level that I do it, and. Uh, 
you know, all the glory goes to God for this and we'll continue to go to him throughout the career. So um, last question before we break up, because I know there's a lot of people want to jump in an interview with you. Uh, I overheard you making a debut at the New York Pro Show this yeah, upcoming 2020. year. 2020. We're right. taking a year off. All right, preparing bien. Uh, I'm speaking Spanish, man. Must be in Miami too long. But long term, getting ready for 220 uh, New York Pro Show. Look for Hunter Labrada. Congratulations again, my friend. This is Kit Sanderson, Muscular Development, MD Latino, Nunca Teres Por Vencido. Ciao.